And the, the reason I didn't really like the Azir is because Azir pretty much locks you into team fighting, uh, but you're trying to team fight with Udyr and uh, kind yeah. of, uh, try to get any <laughs> anything until um, some of the lanes can find more advantages on their own. Meanwhile, on oh, going that's in. that's really good. The double combo here. Jayway have to run away over the flame chomper. The SOFM shows up and first blood goes to Suni. They are starting it up right here for themselves. They get the bot lane game. And uh, just just the, the null story passive is so powerful. Now Suni going for the engage. And they do have the inner track. They have to focus on the ramp for uh, against BLG. And SOFM just says, thank you for starting up the dragon here. BLG do not want to just let it go. j stepping up. That's the dragon already gone to SOFM. Does he go down too? The Onslaught of Shadows gets him over the wall. Aiming has gone crazy. Aiming has gone for the kills. He goes for the killer instinct. Uh, because they have double prior in their soul lanes. And if they just fold that into the Herald, you know, they might have had a good pick. Now it might be a little bit too late. <laughs> uh, Clement, I'm eating my words here. Because SOFM says he wants to go top lane. A bit almost goes down. But the Onslaught of Shadows oh. is going to help him secure that kill. Make the sure tower and i think the day of the jace has been over you know he is called the man of tomorrow yeah. but i don't think there is a tomorrow to look forward to i'm sorry <laughs> tomorrow jace. ain't it's looking just... so bright it's, yeah. uh, it's a little bit doom and gloom uh, oh they get the re-engage though on sofm the charge is gonna go through but have they found angel angel's able to just use the rip walk out of there view view Misses the accelerated shock blast there onto SOFM. Does get a lot of damage back onto him though. Bu Bu and BLG are just trying insane sustained damage that we typically have, but I think in the moments in the right mechanical hands, especially in Huan Fong's hands, this is gonna be huge. The way I'm reading this uh Gale Force is actually it's to go forward. Yeah, I love what the LPL production has been giving us it's this so season. Clean. You can even tell the timers, like, just if they are going that late into the game, it's pretty much over for them anyway. So the immediate gold uh, for Suni is going to come out of a little bit more handy, and they are going into the 1-3-1 one -one siege. Pew Pew has to flash away. I, I just love how fast Hecarim can get with the Sue combo. <laughs> It's so disgusting, man. Even though Bubu Bu gets away from that, that one. auto attack as well, and Bubu Bu cannot be left anywhere on the map alone to hold his own lane. And he makes Drake fight, and they could definitely do it if Bubu Bu finds a couple more poke opportunities like that oh, one. Man. Uh, but they need to play this one slower. Oh no. That's what I'm worried about though, Clement, is you engage like that, you put yourself out dangling on a wire, and Suning are gonna gobble you up. They see the engage miss from J-Way. They immediately turn it around, get the re-engagement there, take a couple kills, and now they're looking at their second dragon. Yeah, I think that was inexperience from J-Way. You definitely... Yeah, we mentioned this a lot of times. Suing definitely have the better front-to-back 5v5, and the way you want to play Wait, against Clement. it... BLG desperation! The big ray play! play. Ray the big ray it. play! They take the Baron! <laughs> okay, now they need to get out of here, Clement, because... Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what? where we're at anymore. I feel like we're in an alternate reality where BLG <laughs> just burned down the Baron out of nowhere. And maybe BB goes down here. Yeah, he's going to get flashed out. They don't want to let as many of these Baron buffs get out. They do. But they are missing their main siege tool, though. They, they really need BB to get the damage and to uh, make sure that they get a solid advantage here. They will pop the Sun Disc. To though. go with the Kaisa double item power spike with. Zeke on the Azir double item power spike to burn down the Baron. That's just a heads up play if I ever seen one. And now BLG have put Suning a bit on the back foot, but how long is that going to be there? Because you have SOFM going in, has to use Onslaught of Shadows out as a defensive tool, but you still have Huan Fong almost full health, <laughs> almost gets the kill with the Mega Death Rocket. About this engage. Bu Still have some Baron of minions out. coming down. Bubu is a bit caught there. Huan Fong coming on the side here. There's the re-engagement. There's the Zeke damage down. Suning are taking the fight. Yeah, they've got aiming off on the side all by his lonesome. He took the tower, but the team is done. like that. You're feeling confident. You're like, okay, we got the Baron buff. We're That's pushing, so awesome. and it turns around. This is what happens. You lose that confidence. My you Bu give it over to Suning, and Bubu's just deleted. Uh, Ocean Soul coming up in five minutes. This one is the best soul if you want to go for a We actually went for an early Dorn, uh, Dorn shield, just a little bit more defensive. And oh. Hecarim going straight in. SO5 face checks into five oh, members, man. but that is a huge Meganar ulti, and it changes the fight. 
Hornbog is still full health, Clement! There's nothing you can do against this monster of a man, as that's a triple kill for Ekrim didn't even get his ultimate off. He didn't do anything. SMS have just charged in and died, unfollowed, was nearly killed, and they still have another front line in bin to get a four-man knock against the wall. And it was just in the late game, not really his forte, while well, Suning just take away casually this Ocean Soul. They have to try and find sort of the game, and it's gonna come down to J-Way. J-Way has to be the one to get sort of the shutdown kill. But Split, right? They were looking to try and take down the side lane, maybe they all pull back to the mid lane. But you still got a great advantage from Sooning, and they could just take this power right from under your nose. They also can disregard the poke at this point. They have triple ocean dragons. So Bu Bu is gonna be doing essentially negative. They're getting a bit hasty on this one. They want the game to end right here, right now. Uh, nope, they don't want to go for that one. They want to go for the kills. The Mega Death Rock into the back. That's the onslaught. Shadows in the back. SOFM bringing them back to the front, too. As that's going to be a lot of damage being put down from Sooning. And that's just the health bars gone from BLG. And that's just the game won by Sooning. As they're taking it under even more towers. As Angel's going to chase down aiming. Couple more rifts, walks will do it. The Everfrost actually going to seal the deal there. As everybody is down for BLG and Sooning have an open Nexus ahead of them after taking down a couple more of these towers. But that excited is gonna come through for Huan Fong. The lead is gonna come through for Sooning, and they will bring us to one zero match point. Oh, this is so tough for BLG. This is one of their specialties, is that they can actually flex a, a lot of different uh, a lot of different sides. So right now, of course, TF is committed towards the uh, mid lane, and we're gonna see as SOFM is trying to find his way into Lucian. Lucian doesn't have the flash. They're going in. Oh, almost gets the flash bear stun. Luckily, BB is able to go Red around off. the wall there. Still gets the splash there. BB is still an ADC, and he's still very low level. This is gonna be a 2v1 opted into by Meteor. Can he turn it? Meteor is going to get the kill, but he goes down himself, and that's two quick kills for Sooning. Mid lane, though, Angel takes a brunt. Mar doesn't even finish the scuttle necessarily. We are going to see a pretty aggressive start from uh, SOFM. Yeah, they get the engage there as well. A lot of damage, but the heroic entrance going to buy no some way. time here. Awen is able to buy a lot for J Way, but J is uh, the member going down there. And uh, PLG, at least with this priority on the bot side, are getting. Definitely don't want to have on their map. Yeah, looking forward into this game, though. We're going to see oh, Aiming no. in a lot of trouble. That's a lot of damage. He's not going to go down just yet. Do they die for this? SOFM looking for J-Way. SOFM looking for Aiming. They get the one kill off the J-Way, but Aiming is going to get burned down by, by BLG. But this is an Ocean Dragon going over to a team that's pretty ahead and not necessarily looking for too, too much at the moment. Been and a lot so of focus much. into the top side. Yeah, Bubu Biu actually uh, mistraded that very terribly, and now oh, Angel no. is on chase. He popped Ghost, he popped Devastating Charge, but Bubu Biu is the one that dies. Well, That's confidence booster for, for the Rift Angel actually caught here, though, and Jayway comes over the wall, too. Gets the flash out, but On tries to get the headbutt. Meteor's there. There's the Destiny Gate coming in. Sooning are actually in some trouble here, but can they get the follow? Bin's on the back line. Meteor's just gone. The split focus from BLG is going to be their doom here as the heroic entrance comes in too. And Sooning off of the back of another play that BLG tried to attempt is just going to come away wholehandedly with it. They take a double kill for Bin, make it three. Open here, but there's no one defending mid lane tower. Amy can't step up by himself uh, against this one. It, it would fall to the Herald regardless, but they're, they're just giving uh, they're just giving Sooning some extra charges to, to work with here. And that also means the Sooning can can just find a tier two or maybe even go back towards the top of that objective goal that we set out for both of these teams, having gotten a couple of these under their belts, having split a couple of the objectives, but now next really good five. potential Ooh. See the damage exchange coming out right there. Fine Pong does stay alive throughout that trade. Full vision control at this point. They've just cleared out the bottom side with SOFM going in. And they will take essentially both objectives at the same time. So they've learned their lessons from game one. If you focus on one, then yeah. maybe they'll get the other. Oh, bye, Bubu. Oh, Bubu. Bu. Oh, goodness. That is He's not... Alive, and we are going to see Zika. He does have the smite plus the flash. Oh, this no. could be the turnaround. Um, but... 
the uh, the jungle is reset. So Sunni are actually losing a lot of HP on this one, and they know that Zika is somewhere on their back line. Can they find him? Is the question though. Oh, he barely misses the house. Okay, so the Baron is already taken. Zika's caught. That's the jump over by Ben and Juan Fong. Oh, and this season, we sort of expected them to play around. Uh, never mind. Is that more action. You don't get a chance. Oh, poor <laughs> Pew Pew. He just. Somebody get him a Warmox just to give him the passive health or something, please! As he's just getting obliterated, and so is the oh, rest goodbye, of Amy. BLG. There is no hope. Full up Baron boss. They're pushing in the second tier tower. Sooning are looking for some lasting damage, as they're going to find Zika's too. As that's a lot of lasting damage if you can continue to snowball this into a victory. But that's the inhib tower going down. Next is the inhib. And they have a full up wave pushing with them. And they have a lot of damage on these towers. The only question is, do we see them overextend a little bit? Do we see them try to fight for this KDA, if you will? But it looks like they're just going for the Nexuses. It looks like they're just going for the end. There's the re-engage. There is J-Way going in. Mew Mew is trying to do some damage. They've lost one. It's a trade for each other. J-Way over SO. See what their drawn line in the sand is going to be. As they are suiting or looking here. As on has already gone in for the engagement. There's the taunt. There's your main tank already gone. Jayway is done for. And this could be his last hurrah here if Suning want to continue to press. Look at the re-engage. Look at the heroic entrance. They could just focus the Nexus, but they don't even want to. They want to go for the kills, Clement, as they get forward after forward after forward movement into the face of BLG. But now they have turned their sights on the Nexus. They've turned their sights on the kills. They've turned their sights onto the playoffs as they take down BLG and will